Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 94 in the Sudoku problem series. This is a little killer problem submitted by Frappi. Um, and of course, the goal in this one is to place the digit in the cell marked with the X. Um, so, um, the way little killer works is the um, clues will have arrows, and on the arrows point uh, on the diagonals pointed to by the arrows, the digits must sum to the number um, that is being po the pointed to by the on that diagonal. Man, I'm failing with words today. Digits are allowed to repeat on those diagonals if allowed by other rules. So there is a link below to where you can get a copy of this problem to give it a shot for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that you can pause the video and give it a try, and then I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so um, I've always stated with this that one of the important things to do is to reiterate and reinforce um, some of the core logic. So this is actually very similar to a couple of other problems that have been done, and I am very cool with that because um, if you uh, one of the my biggest weaknesses and um, the feedback on some of the other little killers has been, yeah, I'm not very good at these, and it's always good to you know redo these. So this is another one of those ilk, and um, I'm very happy to have it because. You know, if you're trying to practice, getting just different problems with the same concepts over and over will just reinforce those ideas. So this is similar to some of those. So what we want to do is we want to look at these clues and we realize that this is 24 in three cells that all see each other. And that means they must be the maximums. Nine, eight, and seven are the largest Sudoku digits. Add those together, you get 24. So this becomes seven, eight, nine. This is an 11 clue now that can't include 789. The highest digits we have available are 5 and 6, which sum to 11, so these become 5, 6. So now we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 available. So the maximum we could put into these two cells is 3 and 4. Now, if we think about that, that's 7, but this is a 25 clue. 25 minus 7 is 18, and there's only one way to make 18 in, with Sudoku digits in two cells, and that is two nines. So those are 9, and these become 3, 4. The 9 takes the 9 out of these. Some of this is not re required, but this is the flow that you could follow. This becomes a 9, and the only digits that are left of the box are 1 and 2. Now, we haven't used this 32 clue yet. Now, what we know is up here, the largest digits we can put into these two cells are 7 and 8, summing to 15. The largest two cells we could, digits we can put into here are 7 and 8, summing to 15. Now, if we add 7 and 8 and 7 and 8, that's 30, but we need to get to 32, but the largest digit we can put into that is a 2. So that must be a 2, and this cell must be a 1, which is the solution to the problem. Um, long-winded way of getting there, and there's other digits that you can get along the way, but that is what you absolutely must do to solve this problem. Um, not all of those steps, maybe. You might be able to shortcut it, but that's using all of the pressure of the different little killer clues. A couple more in this one than the previous one, or one more in this one than the previous one, I think. Really cool little killer problem where you're just getting those pressures building up. Um, thank you, Frappi, for submitting it. Very happy with this one. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying the series, and as always, good luck with your solving.